Hello, my name's Jan. I'm going to show you how to adjust multiple lights using an array, but also apply a tag. Um, so what the tag will allow us to do is, say, have 30 lights with the red tag, and then 30 lights with a blue tag, and then it'll allow us to individually change um, the lights depending on whether they're under the red or the blue tag. Uh, if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So here we go. What we'll do is we will go over to our light section. I'm in Unreal uh, 426. And what we'll do is we'll drag point light in, and we'll also drag another point light in. So what we want to do is then in our content browser, right click blueprint class actor, give it a name. So we'll say uh, BP light uh, control. Ooh. And then we'll just drag that into the scene. Then we'll double click and open our light controller and we'll go to the construction script. And then what we'll do is we'll drag off and type in actor uh, get all actors of class with tag. Then what we'll do is we will promote this to... No, we'll, what we'll do is we'll drop this down here. So select class and type in point. So we're only affecting our point lights. Um, if you want to obviously affect things like your spotlights, things like that, you have to repeat this process each time. Um, uh, to do this, but it's not obviously not a big deal. We'll promote the tag, so we'll right click promote variable and we'll name this um, tag uh, name. And then what we'll do is make that public so we can see it. We'll go to that in a minute. On the uh, out actors, drag out, I type in for each, select for each loop, and then connect the two pins together. I go off the array element, intent, city, and select point light component. That will create these two here. Then what we want to do is make just uh, separate them, clean them up, then connect loop body to our set light intensity. And then what we'll do is we'll promote our new intensity. So right click, promote a variable, and we'll say um, brightness. And we'll make that public as well. So then what we'll do is we'll go compile, save. There we go. So now if we go to our controller, you'll see here um, over the uh, right here, we've got our tag name and our brightness. So currently, as you can see, if we set that, say 100, does nothing. And what we'll do is we'll say uh, red does nothing. So what we can do here is if we click on a light, so like our point light here, and type in the search details tag, we want to use the bottom actor tags. So click on the plus sign, give that a tag name. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our other one, and we'll just uh, name that blue. So clear that and go back to our controller here. Now in theory, when we adjust this to say zero, you see there it um, changes only one light, which is the one that named uh, red. So that we can say we want that at a thousand. And then what we can do is say, well, we want to change the blue one. So we'll just change our tag name to blue. And you see there that's updated it to our values, make it something crazy. And um, you can see there. Now, obviously, you can name this blue, red, or you can name, give it a number, or you know, whatever. Um, so, what we can do as well as say, we can say, right now, we're going to add a, you know, a color to this. Um, so, we will drag off of our point light component and do, uh, I believe it's color. Um, we want to set, set like, oh, drag off the component, color, set like color. Make sure they're plugged in, and um, then we'll do a promoter variable, and this will be our give it a name. Double you can double click here, and just leave it as light color. Make that public, and then what that should allow us to do is we'll set a default. So what we'll do is always compile and save. Click on the light color, and then say we'll set the default as green, just so we know that there's a light color there. And then what we'll do is go back to um. Unreal here, and then what should happen is that when we change our light color, so just check this still works. Yep, again, see here we're increasing the brightness, and what we'll do is we'll now you'll see we've got our little light color field here. Click on the white swatch, and we'll change that to blue. Obviously, you've got your um, if some if you're not getting a color, um, sometimes it can mean that the black value is down, um, which is essentially the same as off. So we've got a nice little blue tinge there. We can say, well, we want that 100. And then what we'll do is we'll go to this one and say, right, um, go to our little controller here, 
type in red, you see that's blue, then we'll change that to red and we've got our our red light there that we can adjust that for. Um, what I also like to do is that obviously because it's a bit fiddly to grab the control here, sometimes you can you know you can have a huge great scene here and it gets lost. Um, if I open up our blueprint again, go to viewport, um, add component and say arrow, and um, this will plonk an arrow in. And then what I'll do is I'll change the direction of the arrow by hitting E on the keyboard to uh, change the uh, so it's pointing up and then if we just check our window we should have a little arrow there um, what I'll do is I'll often make this um, to do, do, do where is it I think it's this one here 80 so say 120 high and say 10 wide um, probably not that high a bit over the top there put that down to one put that to say um, 120 and I think if we hit R we can also resize the width of it um, so that we can, you know, we know exactly where it is and then change it to a, you know, something perhaps that's not so um, uh, ominous. And there we go. So now when we're looking in our scene, we know that that's our controller there that we can instantly grab hold of. And um, so, yeah, hope that's helped. If it has, please do like and subscribe and cheers.